Halo, uh, selamat datang di Arisas Play Hari ini aku lagi mau mainin game indie yang cukup unik Yang berjudul The Stanley Parable Oke Ntar aku gede dikit suaranya Oke, okay, segini cukup lah ya Jadi uh, aku cukup punya banyak Uh, seperti teman-teman kali ya Banyak library di Steam Atau di Epic Store Game-game yang bagus-bagus Yang uh, dapat review bagus Dapat feedback yang juga bagus Tapi nggak sempat maininnya Jadi uh, di channel Youtubeku Aku pengen manfaatin ini Untuk sebagai motivasi Supaya bisa lebih apa ya, Memperkaya Hasanah pergaman Supaya bisa tahu lebih banyak game Dan mainin banyak game jadi dari Arisas Play ini aku gak hanya akan mainin game-game lokal yang mungkin nanti akan dibedah dengan kreatornya Tapi aku juga mainin game-game yang um, unik gitu Jadi game-game yang menarik yang bisa kita ambil pelajaran dari uh, game tersebut Nah sekarang aku akan coba mainin uh, game yang judulnya The Distantly Parable Oke okay. Kontrolnya standar kali ya Uh, udah lah, langsung gue aja ya kita main ya Go to the game Ini aku sama sekali nggak tahu gamenya tentang apa Aku cuma tahu oh ini salah satu game yang menarik Ini udah mulai dicobain Jadi aku bener-bener nggak -bener punya ekspektasi Ini gamenya akan seperti apa Hopefully bukan horror Karena aku nggak bisa main game horror And it's never the end It's never the end It's loading Ini apa sih Oke, okay. ini kita loading dulu Hmm um, dan mungkin uh, aku bakal banyak komentarin kalau dari sisi karena kan tujuan riset untuk belajar ya jadi mungkin kita akan banyak nge ngelihat dari sisi mungkin gameplay mekaniknya eksekusinya dan hal-hal yang menarik yang ada di game ini yang mungkin bisa jadi menambah wawasan buat kita kita dengerin Stanley. ceritanya Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee, employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 mm -hmm. and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, mm -hmm. how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as mm. though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Okay. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Whoa. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call okay. a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oke, okay, ini aku udah bisa ngontrol karakternya. Teman-teman, jadi ini premis yang dibangun cukup menarik ya. Jadi ini si Stanley ini budak korporat ya yang kerjanya cuma ngetik dan ngikutin perintah dari entah dari mana gitu ya. Tiba-tiba ini uh, tidak ada perintah datang. Uh, dan dia dapat komando dari atas Apakah ada CCTV-nya di atas hmm. Dan um, kita kayaknya akan mencoba mencahkan Apa sih yang terjadi di sini Oke okay. Boleh-boleh, premisnya menarik Yuk kita coba hmm. Kita bisa melakukan apa di sini ya Kita karyawan nomor 427 Oke okay. Kita lihat yuk apa yang terjadi di kantor ini? Kenapa tidak ada perintah yang masuk di komputer ini? Kenapa tadi? 428 tetangga kita 429 kosong, enggak ada orang juga. Belum bisa dibuka. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? 
Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Iya, hilang nih orang-orang kemana nih? Oke, okay, kita coba disuruh ke meeting room ya. Meeting room. Ini apa ya? Kenapa kertasnya berserakan? Di mana meeting roomnya? Um, ini ya. Eh bukan ini mesin fotokopi. Eh iya, eh kosong nggak ada orang nih. Meeting room, meeting room. Ini apa nih? I hate Monday. Oke. Empat satu enam, empat satu lima. Ini juga kosong. When Stanley came to a set of two oh. open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um, <laughs> uh, guys, aku agak bimbang nih. Hmm. Jadi kita masuk ke sini, berarti kita emang udah di skenario kan harus ke sini. Lalu ada dua pintu. Narator ya bilang, when Stanley bla 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 bla, dia masuk ke pintu sebelah kiri. Apa yang akan kita lakukan? Apakah kita akan mengikuti instruksi dari narator ya? Atau kita melawan instruksinya? Karena kita anak baik dan kita pengen tahu dulu ini ada apa, yuk kita ikuti instruksinya dari naratornya dulu aja ya. Nggak tahu kalau misalkan kita pilih yang kanan, apa yang terjadi? Oke, kita ke kiri ya. Waduh, kekunci lagi. Aduh. Oke, nggak apa-apa, nggak apa-apa. Santai, santai. Mm hmm. Oke, kita harus kemana kah ini? Terusin aja ya jalannya. Kosong. Um, 412, 411. Nggak bisa ada yang dibuka ya. Adalah jalan dulu. Oh, ini meeting room. Uh, ada horor nggak ya? Uh. Yet there was not a single person here either. Mm -hmm. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might find an answer there. Oke, okay. kita lihat-lihat siapa tahu ada clue. Meeting room, floor for XX lantai 4 berarti ya. Uh, group, kabel planning, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Kita nggak tahu nih sekarang hari apa ya. Uh, mungkin akan ngebantu kalau kita tahu kita sekarang hari apa dan jam berapa. Mungkin nanti kita bisa lihat. Oke, okay. ini do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. Rest in peace, Franz. Siapa dia? Oke. Okay. Okay. Ini ada kertas-kertas berserakan. Oke. Okay. Ini apa ini? Increase in graph per slide. Apa ini? Please no more chat, please. Oke, okay, your boss appreciates a minute for shade circle. Wow, bosnya narsis. <laughs> Boleh ini coba di kantor nih. Twen top 20 things you love. Awal kita bisa dapat clue nggak ya? Be quarterly post review, review, post review, review. Work harder, hard worker. Space between the teenagers, a lot of percentage. Ya yeah, oke okay lah. Ini sepertinya dia iseng nih, nggak ada clue yang bisa kita ambil dari sini nih. Oke, okay, oke. Okay. Synergize core value, oke. Okay. Shift global market, oke. Okay. Monetize free to play, <laughs> monetize free to play, oke. Okay. Ini emang, emang nyindir game. Oh, wah, wah, dikunci. Ini ada yang kunci siapa ini? Oke, okay. broom closet, eh, bisa dibuka. Oke, 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 oke. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Oke. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. <laughs> Kado, ke atas ke bawah nih, guys. Ah. Kita ke Nah, kita kita ikutin dulu ya. Kita coba apa yang terjadi kalau kita ikuti instruksinya. Kayaknya make sense kan untuk ke ruang bosnya untuk cari tahu apa yang terjadi. Scan lihat lihat aja ruang bosnya kayak apa sih. Eksekutif bedroom. Apa isinya? Oh nggak bisa dibuka. Wow ini ruangan bosnya ya. Nice. Ini ruang tunggunya. Orang duduk di sini nunggu. Terus 
uh, ini ada resepsionisnya mempertemu dengan siapa pak? ketemu sama pak Joni. ini ruang apa ini? kunci ya pemandangan, oh nggak ada pemandangan silau bagus banget ruangan bosnya nih kerjanya apa ini kantor? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Okay. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, Four, five. But Two, of course, eight, four, Stanley five. couldn't possibly have known this. Ah, ini narasinya ini nih meta banget nih. Ada apa tadi? Di mana sih? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input anything on the device was useless since he could never possibly get incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. <laughs> He stepped into the newly opened kan, passageway. Yang tahu. Terus apa tadi efeknya? Oh ini ya pintu rahasia. Eh apa sih? Oh ini ini ini. Ada ruangan baru terbuka. Oke kita masuk yuk kita lihat ada apa di situ saudara-saudara ah, ah. semen alat fitness eh bukan apa sih nih <laughs> lampu youtuber dia ke bawah juga ya ujung-ujungnya masa bosnya ada lift beginian sih lift Barang Loading, 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 loading hmm. Jadi ini sepertinya uh, Narator ini berperan vital Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar It was a stirring of emotion in his chest As though he felt more free to think for himself To question the nature of his job Why did he feel this now When for years it had never occurred to him This question would not go unanswered for long. Oke. Okay. Jadi ini kita benar-benar mesti ngedengerin narator yang ngomong nih. Oke, okay. kita ikutin aja jalannya ya. Ush. Mati. Ini dari sisi desain menarik sih. Jadi kita yang apa nggak tahu harus jalan kemana ada clue-clue kayak ini. Ada cahaya di situ gitu membantu kita mengarahkan. Oh kita harus ke sana. Apa ya di belakang digelapin kan? Artinya kita udah nggak bisa mundur lagi. Oke. Okay. Lihat nih. Ini buat yang kita nggak tahu petanya pun kita bisa langsung tahu. Oh ini jalan utamanya ke sini. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Aha. Oh ini Mind Control Facility. Oke. Okay. Waduh, waduh, main control facility atau escape nih? Hah? Ini kembali pilihan ikut narat, ikutin apa kata narator atau enggak? Coba karena kita ingin jadi anak baik dulu, jadi kita akan ikutin apa kata naratornya aja ya. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Wih. What horrible secret did this place hold? Ini kayak X-Men. Did he have the strength to find out? Oh, ini kebuka nih. Kita bisa ke sini. Jalan, 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 jalan. Ini apa? CCTV. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Whoa. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. 
Oh, jadi ini semua karyawannya dipantau pakai kamera ini ya. Nice. Terus teman-teman lihat ya. Ini ke lock, ini kebuka. Ini nggak bantu kita untuk navigasi. Oke. Okay. Tidak ada objek lain di sini ya kecuali button yang sangat obvious harus kita pencet. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Tuh kan kekunci lagi. Kita masih maju ke depan. Yuk kita ikutin dulu aja ya. Kita play along with the narrator. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Hmm. Okay. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Mm -hmm. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Jadi goalnya adalah dia pengen ngehancurin fasiliti ini ya. Dan kalau dari uh, clue visual nih kita harus ke kanan ya. Facility power ini. Wah. Apa yang terjadi kalau kita ke sini? Mind control idle, awaiting input. Oke, okay. tak ikutin aja ya. Jalan ke depan. Kayak bioskop gede itu nih. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Ini another. Pilihan yang harus kita pilih teman-teman Apakah kita Mau matikan Apakah mau nyalakan Kita lagi versi Ikutin kata naratornya ini ya Kita tidak mau rebel Anak baik Kaget rising chill of uncertainty was it over was it over yes he had won he had defeated the machine unshackled himself from someone else's command freedom was mere moments away and yet even as the immense door slowly opened stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. 
Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Udah nih, habis nih. Oke, okay. ini berarti satu pet nih. Kalau kita ikutin terus apa kata naratornya, kita ending, tapi kita belum solving the puzzle nih. Apa yang sebaiknya terjadi sama dunia di sini nih. Dan kita balik lagi ke uh, starting ground kita untuk kita decide apakah skenario kita kali ini mengikuti atau mau bikin sendiri dan tadi itu uh, 20 menit ya kita bisa sampai finish kalau kita nurut-nurut terus dan sayangnya tadi ya walaupun kita nurut tapi kita belum bisa menjawab sebenarnya what happens in this area which is ini kayak akan jadi daya tarik dari game ini adalah untuk menemukan berbagai macam ending dengan cara memilih pilihan yang mungkin tidak sesuai dengan apa yang dikatakan oleh naratornya mungkin branchingnya bisa banyak sekali endingnya bisa banyak sekali Jadi kita akan coba lagi yuk. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hmm. Lihat ya. Kita When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oke, sekarang disuruh ke kiri, kita ambil kanan yuk. This was not the correct way to the meeting room and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. <laughs> Beautiful. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Okay. Okay, okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Kita pokoknya sekarang ambil pet yang berlawanan dengan instruksi ya. Jadi tadi ekstrim baik, sekarang ekstrim nakal. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> Kita belum pernah ke ruangan ini ya tadi ya. Oke okay, oke okay, oke. Okay. Uh... Look Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Ya ya ya. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Okay. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. Her? She's been waiting. She? Siapa she? Waduh, gelap. That's her Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Kita akan jadi ekstrim nakal. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him. Filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that nice. wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. Huh? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. Mm -hmm. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. 
How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for mm. real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making huh? in the real world. Please okay. observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used mm. incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, <laughs> in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. Yeah. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Mm. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer <laughs> radius of his house. <laughs> Which choice Go would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Uh, <laughs> Like this, katanya. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and okay. the feeling should subside. Okay. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Okay. Ah, welcome back. Oui. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate oui. as a result of narrative contradiction. <laughs> but not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Waduh, gokil nih gamenya. Jadi ini sangat meta ya. Jadi kita benar-benar dikontrol di luar gamenya ini. Keren, keren, keren. Unik. Oke. Okay. Kita masih menjadi bad boy ya. Kita topiknya sampai tamat kita bad boy. Apa ini? Ngapain ini kita sekarang? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That oh. story would make no sense at all. Kita bisa mati lompat tadi. As soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Tadi kayak nggak ada ininya ya, nggak ada pagarnya. Berarti sebenarnya kita bisa mati tuh, bisa lompat ke bawah tuh. Kayaknya, kalau nggak salah ingat. Ya nggak sih? <laughs> ya. Ya kan tadi nggak ada nggak ada ini kan nggak ada pagarnya tadi, nah, kan? Oke, okay. ayo sini 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 kasih gue opsi lagi. Jalan jalan jalan. Oke. Okay. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Okay. Okay. Kalau emang hanya itu pilihanku. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead, and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Apa yang akan kita lakukan? Hmm? Hmm? Ah, ah, ah. 
tidak. No. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Oh, dikunci. Jadi emang harus ke sana. Baik, 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 baik. Oke, okay, oke. Okay. Kalau emang begitu dipaksa dari metanya begitu, kita ikuti, ikuti. Nanti masih banyak opsi-opsi yang bisa kita tidak ambil. Oh, ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you my story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. Uh -huh. I have to. I have to. Apa yang terjadi? Thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. Uh -huh. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. What did you think that would be funny? You just had to see. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Huh? ...behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Mana apa? Mau ona? Bukannya apa apa nih pak nih? Sumpah nih pak ya. Bukannya gimana gimana? No! Why did you do that? <laughs> Quickly, hurry! <laughs> ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nanti di, di ujung sana, di branch yang satunya lagi ya, kita... Kita coba. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. The tembok. Wah. Gak bener nih naratornya nih. Oke. Okay. Loh. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions, and beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. 
nggak ada hal lain yang bisa kita lakukan ya udah ditutup nih oke okay. Stanley spoke the code night shark one one five he spoke it into the receiver yeah 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 apa one shock nine nine five you didn't mishear me did you please speak the code into the receiver otherwise we can't get on with the story this is a crucial step ini kan receivernya ada bisa dipencet okay fine you're not gonna do it but you know what it's pretty humiliating to bring you this far only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do i asked you for this one single thing for your respect the kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices he knows what it means to take a story seriously if you didn't want to see what I had to show you then why did you come here you had a choice you know you could have gone through the door on the right you could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there why did you come this way speak say something to me explain yourself you coward huh? Gimana? Apa? when Stanley came to a set of two open doors he entered the door on his left what? Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It wow. cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay. Wow. Wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Okay. Nice, nice. Alright, so jadi yang bisa kita, uh, oke, okay. jadi yang bisa kita pelajari di sini adalah keunikan yang premisnya adalah ada narator yang mempunyai instruksi yang diberikan kepada kita <coughs> sebagai Stanley, uh, di mana di setiap pilihan itu ada konsekuensinya seperti game-game yang berbasis uh, pasti kayak visual novel ya, ada branching-branching dari tiap uh, pilihannya. Tadi kita udah coba, kalau kita ngikutin baik-baik-baik aja Ada ending seperti itu Coba kita nggak tahu ada berapa banyak ending Satu hal itu Yang kedua kita juga nggak tahu Selain pilihannya obvious Kayak kiri atau kanan, menyalain atau matiin Pasti ada pilihan-pilihan lain yang agak nyeleneh Contohnya kayak tadi pas telepon ya Pas telepon kan kita punya pilihan angkat atau diemin Tapi ternyata ada pilihan juga untuk nyabut kabelnya Yang itu ngerusak semua skema ceritanya yang punya ending berbeda jadi ini daya tariknya ya, sepertinya kita bisa ngecoba solving apa yang terjadi di sini dengan berbagai macam skenario, bisa ngebuka berbagai macam cerita dan meta-meta yang ada itu cukup menarik sih. Oke, okay, nice. Ini experience yang menarik banget dengan game yang unik ya, Stanley Parable ini. Oke, okay, uh, buat teman-teman kalau misalkan ada ide uh, game berikutnya apa yang uh, cukup seru dan menarik untuk dimainin dan coba kita sedikit bahas sedikit bedah dari sisi desain gamenya se sekilas itu saya mencoba menikmati gamenya dan merasakan game-game uh, lain. Jadi silakan kalau ada ide uh, ditinggalkan di komentar ya game apa yang next kita perlu mainin. Nah. Oke. Okay. Terus katanya temanku yang pernah main ini um, achievementnya tuh kadang suka aneh gitu. Aku agak lupa katanya ada yang nggak mainin game ini selama berapa jangka waktu. 
lama kalau nggak salah hampir setahun gitu ya jadi pas tahun baru main lagi itu ada achievement yang muncul gitu jadi teman kalau nggak salah dia masih belum main demi ngejaga achievement itu kayak wow semeta itu oke okay, nice oke okay, kalau begitu sampai sini aja video kali ini thank you semuanya buat yang udah nonton jangan lupa ya aku minta idenya next mainin game apa kita ketemu di video berikutnya bye bye